What's up everyone, it's Trevor West back with another video. I'm glad I can get some more content to you guys. Before I get started, I am back home. If you guys are some of my OG, OG subscribers, this is exactly where I started the channel. Um, so it's gonna be back home. And because I've been back home, I haven't really been able to film that much content related to dental school because I've just been relaxing. I've been golfing a ton, going to the gym a ton. But if you guys have given me a follow on Instagram, I've been trying to be a lot more active on that. I'll link it right here. So most of my content since I've been home has been through there. But this video is going to be all about what my upcoming schedule in the fall is going to be. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about how summer went because it was, to be honest, a little bit of a disappointment. We only were taking 12 credits and I had all the time in the world. I felt like I was barely going to class and I did not get a 4.0 GPA, which is totally on me. I should have. I had more than enough time to practice my hand skills, to just dominate any practical that was coming up, and I had enough time to study lecture, plus go golfing and um, play tennis and go to the gym as much as I ever wanted to. I just got lazy. So. Um, because of that, I'm going to really buckle down in the fall. Um, not only are we going to have the most credits that we've ever had in a semester yet, talking to some of the upperclassmen this upcoming fall, ooh, it is storming. Hopefully, I'm about to go golf in an hour and hopefully this storm does not ruin it because I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, um, talking to some of the upperclassmen, this upcoming fall is supposedly the hardest semester of the entire four years of dental school here at OSU. So I am I really seriously need to buckle down. I think because we're taking 23 credits, this can cancel out any bad grades that I've had so far. So if at all possible, I'm going to try my very best to get a 4.0. I haven't done it yet, but that is the goal. I mean, that's always the goal, but um, I'm gonna, Sincerely put school first even above lifting um, above social life Maybe even a little bit above sleep, which is pretty hard for me to do But um, yep, so that's the goal for this semester trying to get a 4.0 trying to chase that dream down Because if I do that, I think that will set my GPA and my class rank in stone make it really hard for me to fall below where I need to be for when I apply to residency. And one of the things that I really, really need to pay attention to um, because it's very difficult for me personally are the lab classes. Now, they're only one credit and I think that's why I am constantly getting B's in those classes because I know if I'm going to go spend three hours practicing my hand skills for a one credit class, I'm giving up a lot of time that I could be studying for a lecture class that can be anywhere from three all the way up to seven credits if it was an anatomy class. So this semester, I'm going to try to pull A's in all of my lab classes because I think that's going to be where the difference lies in between a really high GPA and kind of just that a little bit above average GPA. Okay, now let's get into the breakdown. So like I said before, we have 23 credits total for this fall semester and I'm gonna break it down class by class and then I'm going to show you kind of the weekly schedule, um, what times I'm in lecture, what times I'm in lab. So for all the classes that I'm taking, the first one is going to be fixed three, which is two credits, one credit for the lecture part and one credit for the lab part. So this is one of the classes that I'm really gonna focus on. I've been pulling Bs lately and I really need to get As. And the fixed class is gonna be focused a lot on crown preps. Like I've shared with you guys already, I've been in the lab drilling and then also making provisionals, so the temporary crowns. The next one is removable prosthodontics. And again, that is a lecture and lab class. So two credits total, one credit for lecture, one credit for lab. Again, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on that. So with removable prosthodontics, I actually, this is gonna be our first class, so I don't have any experience with that. I'm thinking it has to do with dentures and um, bridges, and it's gonna be kind of similar to what fixed is but I'm not exactly sure so I'll keep you guys updated on that next up is operative four and that's another two credit class so one for lecture one for lab and that's gonna be all about drilling out cavities and doing preparation so we're probably gonna be using different materials so far we've used amalgam and composite I don't know if we're gonna be moving into class four five and six cavity preparations or just switching over and doing um, big, bigger amalgam buildups or bigger composite restorations. Next is periodontology. Most people call this perio. Um, if you talk to a dentist, that's what they'll say. This is gonna be a three credit lecture class. I don't think we have any lab attached to it. 
Um, I've heard this one is pretty detail oriented. It's not too tough. It's going to be one of the classes that I cram for maybe two, possibly three days before. Um, nothing like anatomy or physiology. Next we have general. Holy lightning. I miss this. I don't get this in Ohio. Love lightning, love thunder. Anyways, um, can you guys hear this? This is wild. And it's starting to rain, oh geez. Next we have general pathology. Um, this is a three credit class, so, and it's again, all lecture, no lab. This should be kind of in my wheelhouse. It has to do with um, a little bit of physiology, a little bit of anatomy, and just kind of learning how diseases work and um, how cancers start spreading through uh, tissues. Holy cow. I'm gonna have to go in. I'm gonna get struck by lightning out here. Anyways, um, yeah, general pathology, it should be a pretty tough class. I'm going to have to study more for that one than some of my other classes when the lecture tests come around. Um, but again, it's not going to be as big as physiology or anatomy. Now we have orthodontics. Now this is a four credit class, no lab t attached to it, it's just lecture. I've actually heard some horror stories from our upperclassmen, so I'm going to go into this one knowing that it's a lot of uh, details that I need to memorize. I I think it has to do a lot with physics. You know, when you apply forces to your molars, what does it do to your incisors? And when you need to uh, pull your incisors facially, what is that going to do to all the rest of your teeth in the arch? So I think that's going to be a really inter interesting class. I mean, I hope it's an interesting class. Um, but it's definitely one that I'm going to try and stay on top of. And the last class that we have is Intro to Clinic, and that is a two credit pass fail class. Uh, it's a pretty easy pass class, but it's just all about getting us involved in um, feeling more comfortable in clinics. So we'll go into the uh, operatories and have a classmate be a partner. Last time we finished up with doing um, cleanings on each other. We're also able to do some sealings on each other. So that was pretty cool because it was the first kind of real world dentistry experience that we've gotten. So those are all the classes that I have upcoming in this fall semester. Now let's get to the breakdown of how, geez. Now let's get to the breakdown of the weekly schedule for all of those classes. Monday, I'm in class from 8.30 to 9.30 only, and it's just lecture. So I, I have a feeling I'm going to be looking forward to Mondays, which is really nice because, as all of you know, Mondays usually is the worst day of the week. Tuesday is going to be lecture in the morning, lab in the afternoon. So 8.30 to 10.30, I'm in lecture. I think we have two different classes. And then from after lunch, or after our lunch break, we get an hour for lunch, um, 12.30 to 4.30, a long day I know, we're gonna be in lab. Wednesday is kind of weird, we have lecture all day long. We have lecture kind of all day long at random times, 7.30 to 8.30 we have a lecture, then we have a little bit of a gap till 10.30. 10.30 um, to 11.30 we have another hour of lecture, and then 12.30 to 4.30 we have pure lecture. Thursday, 7.30 to 11.30, all lecture, and then the afternoon is split up two hours, 12.30 to 2.30 with lecture, and then 2.30 to 4.30 with lab. Friday is definitely going to be the most annoying day of the week because I have to wake up at 7.30. We have lecture from 7.30 to 8.30, and then we have a gap all the way till after lunch. We go from 12.30 to 4.30 with some more lecture. So anyways, that wraps up the schedule. I hope you guys can get a feel for the monster that I'm about to take on in the next few months, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna grind it out, and hopefully I'll be able to make a lot of content for you. I'm a little bit nervous um, when school picks up. I obviously put school as my number one priority, so I don't have as much time to make cool vlogs or edits or videos, but I'm gonna try my best to prioritize my time as much as possible so I can give you guys a the real look into what school is going to be like. Anyways, I gotta get out of here before the storm comes and destroys my camera. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.